So we're on step four of the Tech Savvy Teacher, and this step is called Weird Words Are Your Friend. And the weird word we're really talking about is blogging. Now, blogging has been around for a while, but in case you're not familiar with what a blog is, it's essentially a website that allows a creator to uh, create posts. And posts are usually kind of essays, uh, you know, can be short, short posts or long posts, but then it allows people to add comments underneath the post. So it really is about sharing an idea and then having others uh, respond to your idea. So it can be very powerful and uh, a lot of fun as well. And it can also, for us as educators and administrators, give us an idea to reflect upon our thoughts, reflect upon our leadership, reflect upon our practice. You get the idea. So one of the resources is just a hyperdoc that I've created that has a variety of blogs that I've been following over the years. So I use this for one of the courses uh, that I teach on blogging. But you'll find some, some nice blogs, I think, that you can go. So if you're interested in finding new ed tech tools, kind of uh, take a look at some of the blogs that are listed here. Uh, my favorite in this category is Eric Kurtz, Alt Control Achieve. <clears throat> He's an amazing educator. I don't know when he sleeps, but especially if you're a, a school that uses Google, the G Suite uh, apps, you will, uh, I think, like Eric's uh, website. He's got all kinds of uh, things to do in here. Uh, you know, his posts are timely and up to date. You'll see here's uh, you know, May 8th. Um, and so his last posts are in May, so not too far behind. But he's a wealth of resource, and if you go to his, he's a wealth of information. And his resources uh, are fantastic, again, especially if you are part of the Google Suite. But if even if you're not, um, down here uh, under his resources tab, and you go down here to subject resources, he does a really nice job of kind of doing a month-to-month -month update of like, social studies resource, math, you name it. But a, a, a really awesome wealth of resources and a, and a a really good human being uh, to boot. So again, feel free to check out some of those, including a local teacher, Mary Howard from Grand Island. She has a, a blog called Your Smarticles that has a lot of good uh, tech tips. So feel free to check that out. Um, the next kind of category of blogs is food for thought educational blogs and uh, innovative educator is Lisa Nielsen out of New York City. She writes a thought provoking blog and what I like about it is she really has some courage. She takes a stand on issues that she's passionate about and uh, she sticks to it. And I think she's an open minded and open hearted person so that when people um, you know, debate her on her ideas, she uh, in, a, I think, a logical and kind-hearted way uh, defends herself. Um, so I think that's a really powerful uh, attribute to uh, Lisa. Uh, Principle of Change is a good one. George Koros, um, No Borders Learning is Fanny Passport's blog. She's really interesting. Zhao Learning, um, Young Zhao is a, uh, I think a Chinese born uh, professor now, but he often compares uh, Chinese education uh, with American education and their differences, similarities, and um, I guess advantages and disadvantages. He's a really, uh, again, thought-provoking uh, blogger. Uh, Edutopia was started by uh, Star Wars founder uh, or creator George Lucas, uh, but Edutopia has tons of great uh, blogs and ideas, so feel free to check out his. I've talked about Cult of Pedagogy and probably talk about it today, talk about it tomorrow. Uh, Jennifer Gonzalez is called the Pedagogy. Again, another great blog. So check out some of those. I've tried to mix some of those. And then uh, these last ones are classmen and admin blogs. So these are just various classroom teachers that have uh, created blogs as well as administrators. Uh, Kimberly Moritz is uh, Springville Griffith's superintendent. She has a blog and she's been blogging for quite some time. And I, I like the way she puts her ideas out there. And Again, she is uh, courageous in defending her thoughts and ideas. So uh, really good blog. And then again, there's a variety of others here. Um, so once you've kind of hopefully maybe gotten some inspiration from a few of those, a handful of those, I think, again, you could get lost um, looking at blogs and, and reading some of the posts. I've put some resources, like if you want to create your own blog, I would recommend using Google's blogger.com. That's a pretty simple one. 
Weebly is one of the easiest uh, blog creators out there, I think, as, as far as user friendliness. Uh, Wix is another one. Again, you'll be able to create a free blog the, with the free version it usually has, you know, it's got Wix.com at the end of your blog. And then if you decide you want to make your own blog that has a great, um, you know, maybe um, if you want to develop your own blog with its own site, you can, you can purchase that. Um, and again, Blogger, I think, is probably the cheapest for $12 a year. You can probably get your own um, blog handle or, or website specific to you. Um, and again, to just kind of give you the power of blogs, if you've never seen PS22 Chorus, I don't know that they've updated it recently, but it's it, even though it's not updated, it's an awesome blog to look at. It shows you the power of blogging. Uh, basically, a teacher started to post his, uh, he's a New York City t music teacher, and he started posting his rehearsals. And he was using a lot of pop uh, stars lyrics. And after a while, of course, being in New York City, a lot of pop stars were coming and singing with the kids. So you'll see like Carrie uh, Underwood and a variety of artists, uh, Tori Amos, um, singing with these kids. And uh, they're really wonderful to see. And it's, 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 it also shows the power of blogs is just by him posting these, uh, he got an audience and got uh, star power behind his blog. And just so you know, it can be done. I just put my uh, Chintzy blog here and a blog that I wrote for my for my children, just movies I wanted them to see. I just did that again. I wanted uh, to just showcase that you can make blogs that are personal as well as professional. So again, thinking like books that every kid in your class should read, like might be a good blog, you know, and it doesn't have to be time consuming. You can you can do it once a month. You can do it a couple times a year. You know, if you wrote like my favorite books that I want my students to read, I mean, that's a really easy one. And you probably talk about your favorite books with your students all the time. And then uh, I think you'll find that they, it personalizes you a little bit. And then also hopefully inspires them to read. Or again, you could do movies, my favorite movies that I want my students to watch uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, blogging is really powerful. It doesn't have to be all out time consuming, but I really think, you know, we're all college master's level uh, teachers and educators, and it's really nice to put our ideas out there. And even if you want to create a personal blog for yourself, you can do that. You can set the privacy at private so nobody else sees your blog except for you, and you can create it, uh, treat it like a diary or a journal. So go out there and blog, and if you have a blog, feel feel free to share it with the group.